Hey guys, welcome, or better yet, welcome back to Pandora Place, where I'm always so happy to see you today. We are continuing the strange multi culture game. It's been so much fun, so bizarre, and last time was pretty hard for me. <laughs> I hadn't realized that some of the plants that were asked of me that I cannot skip, they would not be in my inventory, that they possibly be linked to a clue that I absolutely needed to solve. Thankfully, the help button or the hint button is super helpful. <laughs> it really is. I don't think I, uh, I would have figured it out otherwise. What? A secret uncovered is a secret no more. Two miles north of Foxfield. Oh my god. That is so much fun. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Foxfield. <laughs> Let's start by finding Foxfield. There it is. I know they said two miles north. A secret uncovered is a secret no more. Two miles north of Foxfield. Okay, anyway. One, two. Yay! Three ravens circle above their cause and croaks, cleaving the silence. An omen I take what I came for and leave. That is the most prettiest plant ever. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. Can we talk about how pretty that plant is? It's gorgeous. All right, let's tighten them up. <laughs> it's funny the different colors that I pick. Anyway. <laughs> All right, keep going. Oh, the, the letter guy, postman. One from your librarian friend today. Oh, oh, she maybe she knows what um, the Meg thing, Long Meg is. In reference to your question the other day about the Long Meg, I'm afraid I do not have an answer, but Calder Abbey has a wealth of knowledge on local lore. If you ever go there, the monks will request a plant from you, but they won't tell you what they want. A sort of test. They've never allowed me in to look through their stack, Simone. <sighs> no. Okay, where am I going? Calder Abbey. A small window opens within the much larger oak door. From the darkness within, a voice proclaims, only a friend may enter. Oh yeah, that plant. Oh, I don't, I don't remember what that plant was. You know the plant where that makes you, makes people believe you're friends with them. It's considered by some sort of a contract of friendship between strangers. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go, Fox Button. <laughs> yes. Poof. Okay, that was good. Okay, <laughs> I was worried. The hatch snaps shut and the oak door swings inward slowly without a sound. I'm ushered in by a man wearing a plain brown robe. He nods silently when I ask about Long Meg and leads me through the abbey to a small library filled with scrolls and books. Without a word, he pauses for a moment, surveying before selecting a scroll and handing it to me. Regarding Long Meg, there is a stone circle north of Undermere. According to local legend, some hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years ago, a witch known as Long Meg lived nearby, along with her daughters. They were wild, godless people who practiced evil magic until one night they went too far, and Meg and her daughters were turned to stone. The tall stone that stands apart from the main circle is called Long Meg by the locals. So, Undermere. There's a stone circle north of Undermere. Oh, stone circle. Is that considered this square? Is the tallest one this one meant to be part of this one? Or is it still this one? Oh my god, what the hell? I don't know. How do I know? Because they're making a big point to start at Long Meg which is definitely in this square. Like even the shadow is in this square, the top of this square. Are they gonna be that annoying about it? Could they be that annoying about it? South, start at Long Meg, South three. So one, two, three, one, two.
They are that annoying. <laughs> oh my god. From Kentmere, I follow the bearing of the eye and end up in a small forest north of Kendall. The woods are thick with briar and brambles, but all but amongst the tangled undergrowth, a type of flower is flourishing. My god. Oh, I already have it? I don't even know how I ended up having it. What? Okay, I clicked there once. It doesn't even have a check mark. And there's no check marks there. Could it possibly be the wrong one? Oh my god, I'm so confused now. And a little bit and a little bit worried. Because it didn't give me any check marks. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two. <gasps> Another one! The river is in its youth here, flowing swiftly. Did it give me a check mark? Just sorry. No, still not. Oh, maybe after I click. <laughs> the rocks with a melodic gurgle. Among the tall grasses that line the riverbank is such is a much more unusual looking flower. <sighs> there were plants on each one. That is crazy. That's crazy talk. There it is. Oh my god, that is so cool. Now I just have this one. And this one. Into bay and noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. Hi, Verona. The sisterhood are trying my patience again. If the old Arda was around, but she's not. They've kept secrets for hundreds of years. If ever there was a time to share them, it is now. They know of a way to defeat the servant, some ritual or weapon or something, but their stubborn pride won't bring them to ask for help. Well, I won't sit idly by and do nothing. I'd better have a little chat with this new Arda. And I think I'll take some mountain astery with me. What is that? Promotes an aura of confidence and persuasiveness. The large cup-like flowers produce a stale, damp smell. Smell. Musty old books. That could be right. I'm gonna go with the musty. Mountain Astery. Ugh. Thank God. I was not sure about that one. Next. Oh, Miss Green. I have finished the designs you asked me to work on. Be very careful unwrapping these. Some of the, the glass work is quite delicate and I have taken great care transporting them. My lab equipment is finally here. I will now be able to brew elixirs using ingredients from my plants. Uh oh. Yeah. I'm not sure that's a good thing, to be honest. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, what is that? Partisan's Guide to Fatal Fungi and Their Antidotes. Let's keep going. The new Arda wouldn't like me being here, but the forest is in danger. I spoke with Verona Green earlier. It's bad. If the Dendru has awoken, then it will come for us. You must place an offering at the altar of Arduina. That face, this face looks a lot like that face. Might be wrong, but that looks a lot like this.
mountain, church. Here? Oh, it seems Beth has been able to keep her fellow sisters away from this part of the forest for now at least. The trees are thick here, old too. The trees are thick here, old too. The altar seems to belong here, as much a part of the forest as the gnarled trucks and twisted roots. I must place an offering to the goddess Arduina. Oh no, I have to choose Ember Soul. I might not even have both. Ember Soul is thought to have protective properties. It is sometimes given as an offering to various deities in return for sanctuary. Produces flowers with many petals. Watch out for the leaves. They're razor sharp or cauldery. The uses of cauldery are not well known. Some say it has applications in dark magic. But this author has found neither substance nor specifics to back up those claims. Those who worship the huntress Arduina place the flower as an offering to ensure a successful hunt. It grows from a thin stem with small leaves. Wait, but this one, it has applications in dark magic. That's not good though, but it's directly linked to Arduina protective given as an offering to various series in return for sanctuary that's a very good one protective properties what do i do do i give them a plant that protects in general or do i give the dt they believe in i'm gonna go for protection i'm gonna go ember soul flowers with many petals listen last time i wanted to give something i didn't even have it so I, even though i might want to give them that flower it doesn't mean that i have it ember soul i don't know if that was a good idea but i i mean it's to offer protection and sanctuary i like the idea of that better than um than success if there's someone's trying to hurt you get giving them success <laughs> so yeah i don't know don't know i did i did my best as we say I, I really do not know if that was good it made the most sense to me at the time <laughs> natalie cooper I'm being harassed by loonies shouting about the redemption saying they're going to set it free whatever the hell that means well they can take their seeds of whatever woke in something or another and stick it where the sun doesn't shine i'm not joining their damn cult i just want to tend my garden in peace i'm looking for some lark shine to drive them away if they come around again this is so creepy it's very creepy lark shine Jeez, Larkshine is a plant with a powerful defense mechanism. It releases stinging barbs triggered by a light touch. The pain is said to be unbearable and can last for several days. Sometimes confusingly called kidney flower, this is thought to be a reference to the kidney-shaped seeds held within the spiny pods that grow on this plant. Oh, that's gotta be it. <laughs> it's gotta be that. Come on. Right, Lark Shine. <laughs> that already? Oh, I was having so much fun. Lark Shine. Oh my goodness. That's it. No. I'm playing and I'm having fun. I don't want it to end. Tidy everything and end the day. Huh? In time, she learned that the sisterhood had secrets. Or had she always known that? Had she come to them by chance or had she sought them out deliberately? She wasn't sure, but by now she knew what she wanted. She would do anything to get it. Oh my god, what? That is crazy. What? 
That was so much fun. And I shall see you in the next Let's Play. Bye, guys.